Welcome back, my name is Chris Krohn and today we're gonna to be talking about budgeting. Now, at first this may not sound super sexy, but this is my promise. By the time this video is done, you're gonna understand the basics and most important aspects of why you wanna budget, and more importantly, how I can show you how to turn that into loads of wealth in your life starting today. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. So check it out. We're having this conversation about budgeting and I'll be the first to tell you that at first it's like this is one of the most unsexy conversations that we could have. There's very, very few people out there that actually really like talking about budgeting and those that do, um, they're usually weirdos. So um, if you like this conversation, I am calling you weird. You're bizarre, you're strange, you're kind of an anomaly. Then again, you wanna be an anomaly. You wanna be out there. I'm telling all of you right now, you wanna become weird by choosing to like budgeting. It took me many years to learn that there are some things that are good for you, like when your parents say, eat your vegetables. This is one of those conversations. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how budgeting can lead to enormous amounts of wealth. It's actually a sexy, exciting conversation. But you're never gonna get there and you're never gonna understand it if you don't just first choose. So don't click off. Yes, it's a video about budgeting. Hang tight, jeez. Um, so this whole conversation is really about um, how do you, what, what is like the approach to budgeting and why is it important? And I'm gonna break all that down for you right now. So check it out. Um, when we have this conversation about budgeting, I think one of the reasons why people hate this conversation the most is because they automatically think, oh, this is where I look at my income, and right now I make $4,000 a month, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you want me to really break down how I spend this money. You want me to say things like, well, I spend $1,000 a month on my rent, and then you want me to say that I spend $350 a month on my car, and then I'm also spending $400 a month on food, and I'm spending $200 a month magically on coffee, and on and on, and Netflix, and all the different things, and we start breaking it down, and here's why it's such a disheartening conversation. You work your butt off, you make this money, and at the end of the day, there's going to be a number here, and this is the part that scares some people. For example, if this number were $2,000 a month of total expenses, but you were making $4,000 a month, how would you feel? Dude, you'd probably be a bigger natural fan of budgeting, because you're like, ha ha, I got two grand left over. I make four, I spend two, I got two grand left over. But let's just say for a moment that it wasn't $2,000 left over. Let's say that at the end of the month, what you really had was $4,300 a month in expenses. This means that you're probably adding $300 a month of credit card debt. Most people are living plus or minus 10% of the money they make. It's called Parkins Law. It basically says you're gonna make plus or minus 10% of what you make. So for example, if I make 8,000 a month, I'm probably spending right around 8,000 a month. If I make 50,000 a month, I'm probably finding a way to spend around 50,000 a month. I'm gonna tell you right now that if that is you, if this is why the conversation of budgeting is so negative for you, if this is the reason why you're not enjoying or liking this conversation, the real problem is not budgeting, it's your mindset about it and it's your spending habits. Um, I'm gonna tell you something right now that sucks hardcore, but it's one of the most important things that I can possibly tell you, which is no matter how much money a month you're actually making, what I want you to do is I want you to set a goal to save a certain percentage of this. And when I say this number, you're not gonna like me very much, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I think that it's good for you. So here's the number that I think that you've gotta be playing with right now. 40%. You've gotta find a way to save 40% of the money you make. Now I know some of you right now are like, Oh, I'll never figure that out. Like that's such a big, crazy, unrealistic number. But listen, we're having this conversation about how to budget in your 20s. Here's the good news when you're young. When you're young, you might not have bought the house and the car and the boat and all the stupid stuff yet that you're gonna have to service. Hopefully you're still living maybe somewhat on the cheap and if you're not, I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you try to spend all your money to have as much as you can now, it'll severely limit what you can have in your future. Here's why 40%. When, when it's 40%, um, 
At the end of this video, I'm gonna recommend another one which will actually diagram step by step how I became financially free at the age of 26. I mean, imagine graduating college and same year literally saying goodbye to your boss and driving off in your BMW convertible to your home parking right next to your black Cadillac Escalade in your brand new 10,000 square foot house getting ready to take a trip to Mexico. That was my very real life and what was happening and it's because I got, I fell in love, not with budgeting. My, my wife demanded that I learn how to budget because she was paranoid about us losing money. And so it became a game to save as much as we could because in the beginning we had no money. Like I want you to like get this because I'm gonna show you what I did and then I want you to watch this next video. So my wife and I were so poor in the beginning we created this strategy. Her parents that were now financially well to do, when they were in college they always talked about how poor they were. And so we decided to create a strategy for budgeting called KPPPM. It stands for Cleanse Parents Penny Pinching Month, which meant that we were leveraging their strategy of just saying, hey, we got $20 a month for fun and everything else needs to be budgeted away. And that little strategy over 14 months allowed me to put $5,000 in a bank account. And that $5,000 in a bank account, which I've documented in this book, which is, by the way, for free, you can find it in the link below, anyone can have it. It'll show you how in four and a half years I became financially free. The next video will walk you through it. Um, and it's all because of this magic number right here. We learned how to get to saving 40% and then from 40 it became 50 and then it became 60 and the numbers just kept increasing. Here's why 40%. What's your biggest bill you're ever gonna pay if you're rich? You're gonna pay the government. And you know how much the government's gonna want based on today's day and age? the government is gonna want 40% of your money. And if that's your largest bill out there, then don't you think you should be paid more than your biggest bill? Don't you think you should be paid more than what you're paying the goose that lays the golden opportunity in this country? I do, which means you should be paying yourself at least 40%. Now, 40% is almost half of your income, and here's what that means right here at the end of the day. It means that if I make $40,000 a year, and if I'm actually saving 40%, that's gonna, I'm gonna be saving fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars um, $18,000 a year. And what can you do with fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000? Well, hello, you can buy a house. And this is the thing that I want you to get jacked about. You see, when you buy this house right here, here's what you want this house to do. You want this house to produce $300 a month. Now, I know you're like, Chris, $300 a month is not a lot of money. But if you're making 40 grand a year, guess what it is? This house is working hours for you and then it's paying you. Right now, you're paid to work and give your time. This is the beginning of an exciting journey. My wife and I, when we did our first house and we got our first cash flow, my wife's like, Chris, how many more of those do we need to do to become financially free? That's the right question. That's why we're budgeting. That's why we're having this. It may not be sexy, you decide right now. I want you to hear you say it through the camera. I want you to say, budgeting is sexy. Budgeting is fun. I love budgeting. I budget and I learn how to save 40% of my money. And if you think I'm crazy, I know some of you are out there saving more than 40%, which is awesome. But when you're in your 20s, life's never gonna be cheaper than it is right now. Save as much money as you possibly can and now is the time for you to take that money and invest it. That's what this next video is all about. So, as we get to the end of this video, what I want you to do is the video that's gonna pop over, over here, I want you to click on it, I want you to watch it. It's had millions of views teaching and showing people how the story of this book, and if you're like, Chris, I don't like reading or it'll take me hours to read that book, then watch this next short video and it will show you exactly how I actually created all of my wealth. And there's no reason why you can't do it. I'm glad you started with this video because budgeting is the start of getting where you wanna go. Friends, it's all in the link below. It's all in the next video. See you there.